Oh, oh. This, this really defines one like scene cannot be unseen. It was just being all done in fun. I got nothing on but an apron. Uh, yeah. Oh, dig deep. Oh. I don't know what that's hanging on. I thought, I think I lost my appetite. Okay, so yeah, I uh, had to have two shots of Jack and um, took a Prozac just just to uh, stabilize the neuro system. And um, I think I'm scarred. I'm scarred for life. Uh, that 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 was that was not pretty. It's pretty sad that. And he's showing off his guns. The biggest gun that's in the frame is uh, the forty he pulls out from the hinterland. That's all right, Derek. Love you, boy. It's funny as hell. Stay out of the kitchen, all right. Um, with respect to Ms. Bowie's uh, channel, she just uh, had to deal with um, some very, very vicious troglodyte trolls that, uh, um, for the life of me, I'll never understand why people get off on these kinds of things. But uh, as you, or the people that have been with me for a while, know. I have fought my fair share of battles with trolls and their less than witty comments with regard to my hand tremors and slow speech and whatnot. Um, to all of you people that uh, get off on that kind of stuff, why don't you try and get a life and find something that you could produce? or educate and not waste your time detracting from people that have a passion or have a desire to help other people learn. Anyway, um, I'm going to put Ms. Bomi's link down there under this video. Um, I'm not sure I want to throw Eric's in there because you know, uh, parental guidance is, is suggested in, in this um, environment, and uh, I have no idea what you're going to see in the future with that one. But uh, yeah, I'll put Eric's and uh, Ms. Balby's links down there. Check them out. They're really good channels. Subscribe to them if you haven't already. You got the Beanie Brew Review and e Me and then Ms. Balby doing the cooking for for the boys um, hope to keep this one a little short uh, I don't know if I will and bear with me if I don't uh, I'm just gonna move my air superiority high altitude cover out of the way here I uh, have done a number of survival kits in the past and I'm gonna break right now to a test on my um, what I call my medium survival kit solar powered uh, survival kit and um, I've made some advancements and I'm hoping that uh, everything that you see is is worth the time and effort that you're going to spend watching this. If not, fast forward, next video. I don't know. I don't care. Anyway, uh, I don't know if you remember, but the older I had a uh, survival kit that was built from a um, dry box, and I had the system wired with a USB controller, solar uh, controller, USB boost, boost controller, and a uh, solar um, charge controller, some lights and switches and stuff, and it 
lot of the, all fancy and everything. Um, the one thing that it did not afford was uh, waterproofing or weatherproofing, and um, there was a lot of useless or not essential work and space being used that wasn't required. So trashed it. And I, as you just saw, or will see, I should say, I just uh, did a small sequence where I did a water test on this, and this is the actual box that I pulled it out of the pool. I haven't done anything. I haven't changed or dried anything out. This is how it looked when I pulled it out. All right, everybody. Desert Gold. Got another day off here, so I'm getting myself in trouble. Got a couple of racks of ribs on the grill. Some baby backs on the, on the smoker. Been on for a few hours, getting ready to get those off. And while I'm waiting, I thought I'd test out the waterproof capabilities of my latest survival kit. I, you know, I mean, it's nice to have the ability to be in any kind of weather or environment and keep everything usable. Well, let's see how we do. still on I'm happy the contents are pretty much upgraded and I'm really happy with what what's in here and before I go any further I have designed this kit for my environment I live in this in the desert uh, southwest Sonoran Desert um, for you people living up north or um, out east um, where you have access to say more water natural water sources or dealing with different climate issues uh, you'll want to tailor your kit for your environment now that being said let's take a quick look at what I've put into this one all right um, so first off we've got the uh, first aid pouch, um, got some common sized band-aids, uh, small, medium, um, put a little uh, quick clot in there, got some uh, triple antibiotic, um, hydrocortisone, uh, sting relief, what else do we got in here, we've got some Benadryl, loratadine for diarrhea, um, Pepsid or uh, histamine blocker, H2 blocker, uh, and acids um, like Tagamet. Good to cover all the bases or as many as you can um, with some temporary first aid. As I mentioned earlier, I, I live in an environment where water is of a scarcity to say the least. So um, I decided to put eight ounces of water in the kit. Um, these are these aqua boxes are really convenient. They're good for 10 year storage. Um, granted, this is not a lot of water. This is a small kit, but um, eight ounces can get you to the point where you can start planning for your next destination and where to obtain further sources of water. Um, with water, 
everybody's always looking for food and um, what I decided to do was put uh, a high calorie food source in here. This is an SOS um, ration. This is a really nice bag. You can, uh, it comes 3,600 calories, nine bars, um, and they're, as you see, easily separated, individually wrapped. You just put one, two, you know, 400 calories. I ate one of these things. They really taste pretty good. And I guarantee you, uh, it's pretty tough to finish a whole bar as, as uh, rich and high calorie as they are. So, you got food, you got a little water, um, you got your uh, signaling mirror. Pretty straightforward. This is actually one of a few that I've got in here. Here's another one. And I've got a friend's old lens on the back for um, starting fires and backup fire starter. Um, always good to have something like that. It helps uh, assistance in for us blind folk and reading small print. What else we have? I uh, took a um, um, survival blanket, something similar to one of these by SOL and uh, put it in a bag and vacuum packed it down to a very, very convenient small pack. Fits in here really well and it's a two person survival blanket. Uh, also some more fire kindling is the uh, wet fire so this uh, will start in any environment we'll get to further fire starters as we progress this is where the bear grills uh, came in this is his uh, his version of the clutch multi-tool awesome awesome tool knives it's uh, uh, obviously it's uh, Gerber so the quality is there uh, screwdrivers knives pliers wire cutters it's here very small convenient awesome tool since I don't have a built-in light with this kit I, I use the Olight 15, I'm sorry, it's the Olight S10, 150 lumen. Um, I've showed you this before. It um, It's rather bright. Yeah, I know you hate when I do that shit. But uh, the other thing, you know, it, it makes it convenient. It's small. You can carry it. Um, it's easily... Um, kept in a convenient area for multiple uses. You can hang it around a loop on your, on your neck. Or if you're in an environment and you need your hands free, you can hang it on any kind of steel. And you're free, your hands are free to... Uh, um, water purification, always a must. With respect to more water sources, uh, I just got this um, Aqua Mira filter straw. These things are cool. And uh, if you will abide me a second, I will put on my cheaters and just give you some background. Uh, I mean, this thing is. Um, it is tested and certified to reduce chlorine, bad taste, odors, there's 99.9% .9 of Giardia and Cryptosporidium and two leading causes of waterborne illnesses. Um, it's an activated coconut shell carbon reduced organic con 
which reduces the organic uh, com contaminants, waterborne chemicals, and improves taste and eliminates offensive odors. I don't know if that would work so much on the odors emanating from Eric, but one can only hope. It's got antimicrobial technology and a number of other facets that you wouldn't expect in such a small um, unit. You get your straw, you put it on, and you're good to go. Easily packed away. There's supposedly a video on YouTube which I refuse to watch. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to, or they took one of these things and somebody's drinking uh, poop water. Um, the idea makes me gag, but uh, to each his own. Got the uh, a, a better grade compass. Um, this uh, always, always good to have a compass. Um, I have a small button compass in the other part of this kit, but I wanted a better. Uh, version of a compass that I could uh, use. So you always want to make sure you're headed in the right direction. Okay. You got the CRK knife. All right, and cutting in is duplicated. The Bear Grylls has a knife and razor saw. So I've, I've shown you this before. This thing is just crazy sharp for what it is. It stays sharp. Very convenient. I use it all the time. Love it. Um, in a survival situation or self-defense situation where you're trying to survive without support, um, you might incur an injury that um, doesn't afford you the ability to use two hands as you would say with a fire stick or a, or a ferrocium rod or matches or whatever. So the thing I like about this, while it is bulky, bulkier than some of the other things you can see. I mean, it uh, it does afford a uh, a one-handed uh, ability to you know start a a fire. So kind of keeping an eye on multi-facet situations that are unanticipated. This might come in handy if you only have one arm to work with. Alright, uh, I took an SOL kit and kind of redid it a little bit. stuff right and then you've got the SOL kit in this kit I've got uh, the things that originally came with it which you've seen before this is uh, another SOL kit and I just kind of rework them uh, I put the Swiss uh, another multi-tool I mean if you've got a couple of people more than one person can be doing something, you know, you've got that much more progress towards the end goal. You know, the, in a previous video I showed how nice this, this is another very compact, well-made, uh, I think it's got like 27 different tools in it. Wonderful, wonderful uh, multi-tool. Um, 
another video I did I showed uh, the use of powdered magnesium um, and uh, somewhere in here I've got the um, tender wicks that I've uh, impregnated hmm, impregnated what a word um, that are magnesium impregnated can't get around it they burn like hell um, sewing thread tweezers awesome tweezers pencil for writing nylon cordage your ubiquitous button compass which is why I showed you the need for a much better one. A saw. These things are cool. Again, pack way in relatively no space. Very effective at cutting timber. Another fire source, uh, the peanut lighter. These things are cool. Safety whistle. I'm gonna blow it real hard. That's what she said. Ferrocene rod, striker. You know, so you got some tinder wicks, some waterproof matches, some duct tape, aluminum foil, fishing kit, on and on and on. So you can see this kit holds quite a bit. Um, it is still small enough to put in and pack in a bug out bag. It is excellent, excellent for a car survival kit. Um, as I showed you earlier, this is the new layout there. You see no in the case there's your charge controller solar charge controller in there is where you have your five volt boost controller so take your phone you've seen me do this before and you plug it into said box and it Mind you, this has just been in a swimming pool. I'm plug it in and see if it works. Hopefully it does. And we shall see. There you go. Working. And this gives rise to another uh, thought. Along with um, keeping your cell phone charged and available for calling in some cases for help or GPS coordinates. Um, there are apps that are available such as this Compass app. So now you have still a, a third option for a compass. You've also got apps for survival um, that are much more in-depth and are available for uh, like this SAS, the SAS Survivor. Awesome program, helps answer a lot of questions that you might not have anticipated that arise. Urban survivor. Um, just things that will help in that hopefully not to happen instance where you have to rely on things that um, you haven't trained with. So I know I've wasted enough of your time. 
this uh, kit does give you some ideas about putting together or tailoring something that might be more suitable for you. Like I said, water is a necessity here, but we're a lot of you are, you've got access to standing water, in which case you could leave this out, put more food in, um, have your straw for filtration. Um, maybe you want to use the space for a GPS, like a Garmin. All sorts of options, all sorts of availability to do things that um, will keep you at least in the game in an emergency. And then, of course, the solar panel that charges everything and keeps it up and running. Anyway, I've got some beer to drink and I've got uh, to try and forget that horrible incident I just witnessed. So, for all of you on this beautiful, beautiful Sunday. Have fun and be safe. Desert Gold Out.